Hi, I'm Mandy Simon from petbugs.co.za and today we're going to speak about mold. As you can see, this cage of mine is a bit molded. Please just stay in there, just stay in there, don't get out. Good girl. Um, so anyways, this can happen to anyone. Um, this cage of mine molded now. I don't get it regularly, but I do get it occasionally. I'm only human. And since I show you all the good stuff, I'm supposed to show you the bad stuff as well. So we can know how to prevent it or how to fix it. Some stuff you can't fix, but we'll try. Anyway, so this one, this cage of mine started to mold to peat. Now all pet bugs and leaping lizards peat comes with a sterile cocoa peat and blah blah blah, whatever, certificate. So it is all sterile and clean. And it's not a certificate that comes from us, it's from the place that we buy from that, um, sorry, that we get it from that give you the certificate. So anyways, this is a little yellow mold. I don't know if you can see, oh, there you go. And this happened because this is my salmon pink female. And I was supposed to mate her, and normally before I mate, I wet cages a lot. Okay, and then I let them dry out and then I wet them a lot again. Basically, I'm making like rain season thing, you know. <laughs> I'm not sure if it works, but I do it anyway, it doesn't matter. So, anyways, you can get this from keeping your peat too wet. Peat are supposed to keep, be kept dry. I don't know where people got the idea your peat is supposed to be soaking wet and your spiders are drowning because that will cause this mold, as you can see, it will cause nematodes and a lot of other yucky diseases and stuff you don't need. So basically, normally I keep the peat dry, but like I said, this female was supposed to be mated, so we kept her cage wet. So the first reason for peat molding, uh, molding is wet cages. The second would be uneaten food. If you leave some food in that's... Let, let's say they bite the cricket's head off or whatever and they leave the rest, then it will molt. Or if they poop and you just leave it, I also got brine tongs. Don't worry, I don't use them for food anymore. <laughs> I actually don't have any food prying tongs anymore. I use a fork. Because they will end up in the spider room anyway. Okay, and then the second is ventilation. Now let me just move this a bit. As you can see, this was also my fault. Because I only got these holes here. Around the sides with ventilation. What I should have done is I should have made a second one with holes in because that would be like the perfect, perfect, perfect ventilation. But I didn't. And so we all still learn after 10, 11 years, how many ever. Okay, but anyway, so the only thing you can do here is if you don't have peat, just take all, take your little tongue and you scoop all your little dirt out and throw it away. Okay? If you've got new peat, take your beautiful little spider out it's quite big. You take her out. Normally, I just rehouse with a paintbrush. That always helps. Um, put her in a plastic tub or just somewhere where she can't escape. Then you take all the peat out, throw it in the dustbin, wash your cage out nicely with some warm water, and put new peat in. So basically, that's as easy as that. Now, spiders don't normally die when the cage got this yellow mold in. Um, but you have to clean it, you can't leave it like this because too much is also not a good thing. You're also going to get some fruit flies and again fruit flies, carriers of nematodes. So you really don't want this dirt in your cage. And when you can also get it is in winter time. Because you've got those nice warm heaters on. So you get some water droplets on the sides, condensation and your peat starts to mold. So you can just take it out and clean that. But like I said, if you don't have peat and you can't get to the shops, it's 7, 8 at 9, pet shops are closed, Monday's not answering her phone, then you just change your peat, um, take it out, chup, 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 throw it in the dustbin, peat is changed, nice and clean. And if you've taken it all out as much as you can, just give it a good stir with with a paintbrush you can just like mix it a bit stir it up a bit and then tomorrow you go and buy some peat and you clean your enclosure now second thing you also get is mushrooms 
Now those are little bastards. And mushrooms just pops up overnight. I don't have one here, not that I know of, hopefully. Um, but it's also just like, also from mold and stuff like that. People say mushrooms are so hard to grow, but they never met a tarantula keeper. Because, I mean, those things pop up overnight and they're massive mushrooms. But again, just clear your peat, take it out, throw it away, put new in. Um, your spider won't die from the mushrooms. I've never seen a spider die from the mushrooms. And trust me, I've been in a lot of people's houses and some of them look like they are mushroom farmer in their tarantula cages. They just leave it. But, like I said, I'm not familiar with mushrooms. I don't know anything about mushrooms. I don't even know which you can eat and which you don't. And I'm obviously not going to try. So, the best is just to take it out. It's just a safety precaution, basically. But, like I said, I don't think your spider will die from it. But, yeah, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to push my luck. Maybe after a week or so, it gets like real strong or something. <laughs> like the one on Mario Bros. You know, if you eat it the spider will grow double its size or something. No, I'm just joking. Don't do that and don't try and feed your spiders or any animal this stuff. Um, just clean your cages out. And then also some of the peat contains some seeds and stuff. And I know um, our peat doesn't, but you do get some peats. And it doesn't mean it's dirty peat. It's just not like sterile. Um, so just take it out if you see any seeds of anything because you never know what it is. Just take it out and chuck it away. Then what you can also do to keep your humidity up, one, by leaping lizards tarantula substrate, or two, by leaping lizards cocoa peat substrate and mix vermiculite in. That works really well. Vermiculite keeps your humidity up without all this yuckiness inside your tubs. So I just thought I'd make a quick video because I don't get this often that this happens. So I thought, well, let me just show you while I'm at it. So anyways, I'm Mandy Seven. Thank you for watching. Bye.